Hi, my name's Dave Huxtable, and I'm a polyglot and language coach based in Southern California. Before I moved here, I used to live in Beijing, or Peking, as it used to be known. Why did it used to be called Peking, you might wonder? Well, the short answer is because it used to be called Peking, or at least Beijing, or Beijing... Now, I'm not talking about before 1979 when the international spelling of the city was changed to Beijing. We have to go back quite a lot further. Portugal was the first country to have contact with China in modern times, and in 1552, the missionary Francis Xavier transcribed the name of the city as Pekin. That's the first clue we get as to how the inhabitants pronounced it, since Chinese characters mostly don't give much of an indication of pronunciation. 200-ish years later, in 1728, the Yongzheng Emperor complained that he couldn't understand the accents of officials from the south, notably those from Guangdong and Fujian. He set up academies for correct pronunciation, Zheng Yin Shu Yan, which produced textbooks that give an insight into the accepted pronunciation of the time. These indicate that Beijing was still pronounced Beijing, and nearby Tianjin was pronounced Tianjin. Transliterations of these cities' names into the Latin alphabet at the time reflect these pronunciations, Peking and Tianxin. These pronunciations remained in formal registers until the early 19th century. A process called palatalization caused jie and jie to merge to jie, giving Beijing and Tianjin. Meanwhile, the Peking spelling had been set in stone by the imperial postal spellings adopted in the 1890s. Rather than the systematic attempt to transliterate Chinese, the postal system adopted spellings that were well known in Europe, as well as attempts to transcribe local, rather than Beijing Mandarin, pronunciations. This gave some familiar spellings, such as Tsingtao for Qingdao, Sichuan for Sichuan, and Chongqing for Chongqing. The pinyin transcription system was adopted by the Chinese government in 1958 and totally replaced the post office system by 1964 with Beijing spelt B-I-J-I-N-G. Beginning in 1979, the Chinese government encouraged use of pinyin internationally. The New York Times adopted Beijing in 1986, with all major US media soon following. The BBC switched in 1990. Many languages have kept a version of Peking, Pekin in French, Peking in Spanish, Pekino in Italian, Peking in German and Dutch, and Pekin in Russian. And just one thing, it's Beijing with a J, not Beijing. Chinese doesn't actually have a J sound, but that's a topic for another video. Meanwhile, please click like and subscribe and check out some of these other videos that I hope you'll enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.